At the family of a missing 26 uh, year old, Deshina Kyle, along with members of the community, gathered to take search efforts into their own hands. Kyle has been missing for more than three months now. And today, Knoxville police announced her former boyfriend, John Bassett, is now a person of interest in Kyle's disappearance. He was arrested in July for a separate charge and currently remains in custody. We should note he has not been charged in relation to the Kyle case. WAT 6 on your side reporter Jordan Brown met up with community members tonight as their search for Kyle resumed. Jordan. Yeah, Bo, around 15 to 20 people went into a dense wooded area on Thomas Street near Ohio Avenue, hoping to find something that would give a clue about the Deshina Kyle case. Now, the family says they chose that area because they believe John Bassett, the person of interest in this case, frequented, frequented that area. They didn't find anything tonight, but Kyle's family says they're not giving up. With gloves on and sticks in hand, a crew of volunteers marched through a dense wooded area searching for answers in the disappearance of Deshina Kyle. Imagine not knowing where your loved one is, no answers, no community help, no nothing. Just her gone and thinner. That's the worst part. It has been pure torture day in and day out. I wake up thinking about her. I go through all throughout the day thinking about her, just questioning where could she be, what has happened. It's just torment. After three months of wondering, an update in the case gets the family one step closer to the answers they've been looking for. It's heartbreaking. We just want answers. We've been bracing ourselves to be prepared for this moment, but we want not expecting it, but at least they're trying to make some kind of leeway. Police have a person of interest in custody and are treating this like a homicide investigation. Deshina, however, still hasn't been found. We understand that law enforcement has a job to do. We do know that they are uh, putting in efforts as well, but at this point, they have not found Deshina, and that's what our goal is. And so we're going to continue to search until we find Deshina and we bring her home, and prayerfully, that's safe and sound. She is loved, she is missed, and any tip, no matter how big or small, we would greatly appreciate it. We just want to find her one way or the other and bring her home. Now, Deshina's family says this won't be the last search, and they thank the community for their efforts so far. Bo? All right, Jordan, thank you. Now, the investigation into Deshina's disappearance continues tonight. Anyone with information about her whereabouts or the circumstances of her disappearance is urged to contact East Tennessee Valley Crime Stoppers. One way you can do that is by calling the number that we have for you. It's coming up here on your screen. It's 1-800-222-8477.